a goiter is a large thyroid. Okay. Okay. So, so you, you see get, these people that have like a swollen like, ball of flesh. But it's usually down here on top of the uh -huh. on top like a bullfrog. Of, yeah. Yeah. Right there, but it's not a double chin. It's a double low low roll here, yeah. Yeah. or just a big lump. Yeah. A goiter, a goiter was uh, paraphrased a long time ago when they didn't really get the fact that goiters were thyroid. Okay. Okay, so this is your thyroid, and when your thyroid is overactive or underactive, then your thyroid gets large. If you don't feed it enough of what it needs, right. like iodine, it gets big. So okay. any place in the world that used to be an ocean, okay, had kelp in water over it has then iodine in the soil. Mm -hmm. But in the Midwest, all the way up through Canada, all the way down to Texas and Louisiana, we, I guess you could call that the South, but in the Midwest, we don't have iodine in our soil or our water. So iodine, we're iodine to deprived. If we did blood tests on everyone, we would find that we all have low iodine. Okay. It's almost something you can assume in our area because there was no inland ocean here. Right. So this is, we did get a scraping from, from the, um, from the different ice ages and stuff. Right. We got that, but that wasn't salt water. Wasn't salt water. Yeah. So salt I grew water, up in central Arkansas, which is right where the curve was for the Gulf of Mexico coming north. Right. In the so old. So part of the, some Arkansans mm -hmm. have it and some don't. That's right. I remember my favorite thing when I was a kid was taking the world book and yeah. using those transparencies yeah. and seeing oh, yeah. where the, the overlays. ocean was and where it wasn't and who but we they didn't were really have a goiter on top. overlay. <laughs> well, you know, you're right. Yeah. No, no, no but of, so but, so it's so a real issue. So the goiter means either that your thyroid for one reason or another is not functioning, but the oh. most common reason is that you don't have enough iodine in your diet. So we used to supplement in salt, but there's, there's iodized salt, like Morton salt, but it's not an iodine form that we can readily use. Okay. So we don't eat much salt. And if you eat sea salt, you get a little, but not enough. Okay. So it's very hard to get enough iodine in your diet. So we supplement. Now, yeah, because I'm not supposed to have salt because of a blood pressure right, issue. Right, right. We tell That's everybody, no stay salt, salt, no stay salt. Stay away from salt, stay away from caffeine, stay yeah. away from Yeah, and so we now don't have iodine. And we used to put iodine in our, um, we supplemented, we enriched our flour. Okay. And it was in flour. Now yeah. we're telling people not to eat flour or wheat. But we don't enrich it always either. So all of the methods of replacing iodine are methods that we that don't apply to us nowadays and those of us who live in this area are having more and more thyroid disease and part of it has to do with needing iodine. Now it doesn't mean everybody who has low thyroid just needs some iodine. If you have low thyroid and you have all the symptoms of it you need iodine and your thyroid medication because they work together. So is that Iodine and iodide? Yes, that... iodine and iodide is the form that you can absorb. And there's one particular formulation called iodorol. It's inexpensive. Iodorol. It's an inexpensive. It comes in 12.5 milligrams. So we usually give one or two mm -hmm. of those to, depending on how low the iodine level is, to supplement. But most of us should take about six months of double dose just to get our stores built back up and then maintain it with the 12.5 daily. So, so if, because in today's commercial world, so many of our fruits and vegetables are imported from other places. Mm -hmm. If your uh, fresh foods are coming from places like Argentina or Chile or Florida, mm -hmm. w does California. that compensate for the problem? You would think it would, but it doesn't. It's just not enough. It's not enough. And it's not in our water. And then we do something else to our okay. water. We, where you would normally have iodine from the ground, mm -hmm. in groundwater, we actually put in chlorine and fluorine, yes. fluoride, excuse me, right. into our water. Fluoride for our teeth, chlorine to kill all the bacteria. Well, those are two chemicals, and they're chemicals, they're not nutrients, Right. that kick iodine off of our thyroid molecule. Wow. They take the place of it. It's, they act as a heavy metal. 
they prevent the iodine that we do take from getting onto the thyroid molecule. So they take the place and they do nothing. They just prevent the activity of the thyroid. So those are two things we do to protect ourselves and there's always a reaction, reaction. The reaction right. is it's, we're it's making our iodine. It's a chemistry set. It is. Yeah. So if you're going to have that in your, in your life to protect your teeth and keep your water clean, then you've got to add more iodine so and overwhelm it. So should you take your it. Iodorol with a glass of wine? <laughs> You should have a... I'm trying to find another reason to have a glass of wine. Yeah, well, mm, that would work. <laughs> no, that's, yeah. But that's why they always drank wine in the Bible, because the water wasn't good. Right. I mean, the, yeah, they, yeah. it got rid of the bacteria. So mm -hmm. so basically what you should do is is get a water filter, oh. like a re, you know reverse osmosis or a, or a charcoal filter, and it gets all that out. And that will help you not have issues with your thyroid? And not well, have it'll have order. you not have all these, me, these heavy... Well, not heavy metals, but these chemicals. Trace metals. Trace metals yeah. replacing right. your iodine. Blocking. You still have to take iodine. Right. Because you're going to you're gonna. But get... the absorption is blocked by the fluoride and the chlorine. Right. So, Which is an interesting thing, be just because we're, doing, we're, tr we're improving our lives so much with these other two things. Uh -huh. And then now we have to, we have to um, go back and adjust for that. It's kind of like... There's, there's a plant called the give and take plant. Mm -hmm. the, the top of the plant is, it's in South America. And the top of the plant actually um, stings you. <laughs> and then you have to dig up the root, cut it up, and get the sap out of it. And you put it on and it fixes it. I always feel like we're doing that with wow. our environment. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, in, in all the structures that or all the things that we were blessed with, you know, that God gave us, that we do kind of have an answer for every problem. But here we've made our own problem. Now we have to find an answer. And the answer is to take iodine in this case. So that what should help us prevent thyroid disease, improve our metabolism, help us lose weight. But there's one other really important thing about iodine. Iodine is much more important to women than men because okay. iodine is stored in the breasts. And since you guys don't have them, we need a, the people with the largest breasts need more. the most iodine. Right. Because we store it there. If you don't have enough, right. not only does your thyroid malfunction, but you get breast cysts, breast tenderness, and you can get, I mean, it can set you up for breast cancer. Okay. So iodine is very important to the breasts. We watch. We watch the um, children as they're as they're growing, doing iodine levels. All of a sudden, women become iodine deficient at about 12 when their breasts develop mm -hmm. because it's all here. It's all been sucked into the yeah. breast. Yeah, and so the rest of their body is not getting any, and that's one of the most common times for young women to get hypothyroid, low thyroid, okay. because they don't have enough iodine. So hypothyroidism is low. Is thyroid. low. But you still have a big goiter. Uh-huh. And, and the signs of hypothyroid that you would look at as a physician. I mean, as I know physician, there are blood tests that you can right. do. There's hair loss all over your head, okay? Mm -hmm. Hair loss all over your body. In okay. other words, you wouldn't be shaving your legs as much. You wouldn't, mm -hmm. be, you wouldn't have to worry about plucking your eyebrows as much. Eyebrow loss in the lateral out, outside here, when you lose eyebrow hair here, that's a low thyroid. And that's for male or female? I mean, yes. you, you were saying that women need it more because of the breast tissue issue. Right, but, but these symptoms are But this are is symptoms free. of okay. low thyroid in both male and female. Men don't get it as often. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons is the iodine issue. Now, other things that you can uh, see with thyroid disease is you can see if you stick your tongue out, tooth marks all around the outside of your tongue because your tongue swells. I sometimes okay. have people stick their tongue out for me. Huh. Um, is that weight gain, uh, exhaustion, fatigue, depression, high cholesterol, slow movement of the intestines, swelling all over, all over swelling, like hands, feet, legs, just swelling, swelling around the face, big swelling around here and swelling above your eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, you can kind of see that or just getting a, a wider face. That's all thyroid. Okay. Thyroid affects everything. So it's very important to look for those things. Some of those things cross over with other hormones. But if you've got a goiter and some of those symptoms, I think it's pretty obvious. You need iodine right. and you need thyroid. Okay. I used to catch better than that. <laughs> <laughs>
So, so what's the difference when you say iodine and thyroid? The, the iodine complements something that comes out of the thyroid? The iodine activates the thyroid. Okay. Okay, so... So it's like I, putting gas in the car. Right. Yeah. And right. then the engine runs mm -hmm. because you have the iodine. Right. And then the thyroid does what? And the thyroid is what... Um, regulates affects, body temperature? Regulates everything. It re re regulates how you absorb food. It regulates... Uh, whether you lose or gain weight, how you use your your fluids. Mm -hmm. it um, If you don't have enough, it maintains fluids in your tissues instead of in your bloodstream. Okay. It, you'll have a low heart rate, so it regulates the heart rate as well. So if you have a very low heart rate, low blood pressure, that's another sign and another function of thyroid. Okay, so, so, but these signs are not automatically uh, exclusive you know like if your ankles are swelling and you're having fluid retention now if you have one of them that's different but if you have all of them yes then you can test the thyroid and the iodine now if you test the thyroid sometimes with the scale that we have we've talked about this before mm -hmm. and especially in women the thyroid normals that are on your lab sheet are normal for men and men and women have different normals right and they should update these but they haven't so the normal TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, mm -hmm. goes up when your thyroid's low. So if it's above 2.5, then your thyroid's low and you need to have thyroid replace, replacement, okay? To make that thyroid re replacement work, you need iodine. So you need to take both. Mm -hmm. Now, iodine is in kelp, seaweed. Some people can take enough kelp in a day, believe it or not, to get their iodine. Well, would you have to eat like six yeah. ounces of kelp oh, or half have a pound eat... of kelp? or? I don't, it depends on the kelp. They're yeah. all a little different. They're all different. Okay. There's some dried kelp that you can get and it'll tell you exactly how many milligrams are in each dried I'm, kelp. We, I'm laughing I've my, been eating those. I but... remember before my dad passed away, we'd, we'd go to dinner to some semi-nice restaurant, you know, something like yeah? Ponderosa. <laughs> uh, and they would put a little piece of decorative greenery on the plate. Mm -hmm. And he would always take it and say, I don't do kelp. I don't do kelp. Uh, <laughs> perhaps he should have. He's, perhaps he should have. <laughs> so, I mean, I, you know, iodine in the kelp also works on our hearts and our brains. Mm. I mean, it keeps us thinking clearly. And, I mean, just consider all of the people who just don't feel well. And when we check them, they're fine. But we're not checking their iodine. Okay. And so if we could touch all of those people, especially in the Midwest, and the Midwest is a bastion of obesity. It may be that their oh thyroid. Oh, my God, can you say that again? A bastion of obesity. Of obesity. And oh. so that's, that's important. I mean, we need to, we need to get this there out. There are more fat old smokers than there are fat old doctors. There's a lot of fat oh. old doctors. <laughs> and, I mean, smoking. But, all of these things. But we're set up. Yeah. I mean, we're set up from the minute we drink our water and we eat our food, we think we're doing healthy things, but we're missing some things. I think that the government's going to turn its attention away from vitamin D, which it's already decided everybody needs vitamin D, right. to iodine right. next to prevent. This is all preventive medicine. Let's prevent all of those things we just discussed, all those symptoms that take away your energy and your productivity. Well, what's the 